What's absolutely new about this project is that it involves three constructionally identical brew houses manufactured in this size for a particular country. The reason why a Lautertan is such a major challenge is because it constitutes the biggest vessel in terms of diameter in a brew house installation. In the design work there are a huge amount of different parameters that have to be taken due account of. The bending has to be computed, for example, to make sure that it's minimized and that there's no risk of the Lautertan coming into contact with the raking machine, which would destroy the expensive false bottom, known as the false floor. When it comes to the design work, cost efficiency plays a major role. For instance, the aim is to minimize the amount of material used in making the vessel so that we can continue to price it attractively for the market. They have to make sure that the quality doesn't suffer, of course. Three projects in this order of magnitude and the simultaneity factor, meaning that all the information has to be forwarded to all departments at the same time. These were the major challenges involved in this project. The building very often constitutes a paramount influencing parameter for the design work. The Lauterton is so huge that in most cases it extends over several different stories and consequently we have to allow for a huge variety of pipe connection elements and architectural factors. Based on the initial planning work and with the aid of the database, detailed drawings in A0 formats like this one are set up, which are then used by the fitters as a master plan for instalment on site. Close cooperation with the production people is crucial to cost-efficient manufacture. In the design work, for example, a 3D view is prepared for each and every sheet metal part, which means the 3D laser system can be optimally supplied with the requisite data. All steps in the production process begin with cutting to size at the laser. The platinum seams for the hood are welded together, and the hood is then fitted. Simultaneously, all the sheets of metal are rolled for the frame. The Lauter Tun, the very heart of the brew house, is a very diverse vessel indeed in terms of the welding techniques used. These include plasma keyhole welding, TIG welding, mag welding and orbital welding. The 12 meter diameter is a major challenge when it comes to grinding. Now, here in the background, we see the base of the Lauter Tun with the understructure, which is erected so the piping can be prefabricated. As you see it here behind us, the base with the understructure weighs approximately 32 tons. Handling a total weight of 43 tons is no longer any problem whatsoever, thanks to the new hall. Now, the upper section is joined to the lower section. An optimally coordinated process and good cooperation in all the specialist departments involved enabled the extremely tight delivery deadlines to be met. After final acceptance testing, the vessel is cut into pieces again and packed. Now it is ready for its long journey to Brazil. In the design work, there are also a huge range of diverse influencing parameters that have to be taken due account of. Transport, for example, is one of the major factors to be considered and has to be properly thought through, from loading in the factory to ingress on site. Centers of gravity have to be computed with the utmost accuracy too, so as to calculate how to lash the consignment down on trucks and ships.